What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. You guys know what time it is. So in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, how to build character through martial arts. Okay, so I got a question from one of the guys in the community and I'm gonna read it out for you and then uh, I'll proceed to answer the question. Okay, so this is from Pantone Color. Probably not your real name, but it uh, doesn't matter. Pantone. I'm not even sure what that means. Okay. I grew up in a safe and soft environment. I am the youngest child in the family, and since I was very uh, ill in my childhood, my parents spoiled me. I get exhausted and start to flinch if someone raises their voice in the argument. And I was like that since my childhood. Now I'm 25 years old. Most people talk about willpower. Oh, you need to be courageous or brave. Is willpower God-given or it can be made? Uh, also, I call myself coward right now. Um, can I turn into courageous and brave man? I was heavily bullied at school. Sometimes I think of suicide, but since God gave us uh, only this life, I don't want to quit at difficulty. Just want to fight that devil and, su and succeed in life. Thanks for your time. It will be very helpful if you gave honest reply. Uh, I wrote too many coaches, but none answered so far. Okay, well, you're in luck. I decided to answer. Um, not my typical type of questions that I answer on this channel, but <clears throat> I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna answer it and I'm gonna bring everything back home. I'm gonna tie it into what I do, what I know best, and which is essentially martial arts, right? Grappling. Okay, but um, here's the thing regarding willpower. And, oh, let's start with this whole suicide thing. So don't do that, right? And the reason that you don't want to do that is because if you die as a coward, you know, taking your own life, then usually what happens is that from what I gather, uh, you're going to float around in limbo in the spirit world as a coward spirit, as a chicken spirit, which is not good. And then you float around longer because essentially you, you got to work through that regardless, you know, whether you have a body or not. So better you, you know, if you're gonna die, it's important to die as a man, <laughs> right? With, with good qualities, that's what I'm talking about, okay? And then from there, it, it, it just works out better in, you know, uh, in the next part of life, so to speak, you know, which we call death. Okay, so don't do that. Now, in terms of willpower and uh, courage, that, of course, can be cultivated, it can be, it, it's, it's built. Some people are just born with a little bit more willpower than others and some a little bit more courageous than others by nature, but it doesn't matter. Like, um, regardless of if you're one of those people or not, this can be cultivated, absolutely. So willpower has a lot to do with environment and uh, courage has to do with uh, doing things uh, regardless of if you're scared or not. You know, being able to push through uncomfortable situations and just, uh, you know, facing it head on. Okay, so these are my three things that I would do, uh, that I would recommend for you to build yourself up. Now, the first one would be um, definitely lifting weights. So you hit the gym, get stronger, get a little bit bigger. Okay, that's gonna help with the self-confidence for sure. And then from there, the second thing would be to practice martial arts. Okay, so practicing a martial art, what type of martial arts specifically you would have to pick at least two martial arts. One grappling art and one striking art. So for the grappling art, you have to, you know, there's, there's, there's a variety of them. You know, there's jujitsu, there's judo, there's sambo, there's wrestling. Um, pick any one of those that, uh, that you have access to. And the important thing is that you get choked out, right? I want you to join a club where, you know, it's competitive. So where people fight a lot a lot because that's going to help you that's going to help tremendously with your confidence you need to get choked out and you need to learn how to choke out people that's important you get desensitized and then you get uh, to, to the whole the whole thing and then from there you're going to also be able to be very relaxed in high pressured situations so you're going to be comfortable being uncomfortable right and then from there you want to take a striking art because you need to get punched in the face <laughs> And you need to learn how to punch somebody in the face. So it goes both ways. And the more you get punched in the face, don't get punched too much. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't just, you know, you, 
of course, defend yourself, but it's gonna happen in sparring. And you wanna go somewhere where there's actual sparring, okay? Like you put a lot of emphasis on, on, on sparring so that you learn to get hit and you're gonna get used to it, you're gonna get desensitized to it, you're gonna learn how to block it, how to roll with it, and then you do it enough, it's not gonna be a big deal anymore. So you then, you, there's another level of confidence that, that comes from that, from being able to uh, take a hit and, fro and give a hit and so on, and it takes the mystery or the fear out of, uh, you know, just, just being in a, in, a, in a physical altercation, right? So those two aspects right there. So you need to get choked out, so you gotta take a grappling art, and then you need to get punched in the face, punched and kicked in the face, you know. And um, over time, you'll see you. It'll, it'll be okay. Don't worry about it. So that you can also build up from there too. So you need those two aspects. The third one is actually yoga. Now, why do I say yoga? Uh, yoga because there's meditation in yoga. And meditation, uh, the meditation part of yoga is what I'm talking about. And the reason why you want to do that is because that has to do with um, inner mastery right? Mastering your thoughts, your emotions, and of course your body. So I think those three things would benefit you greatly. That's what I would do if I, um, uh, that would be my advice to you, you know? So you got to hit the gym, build up your confidence, build up your muscle, uh, build up your strength. From there, that's going to help with your martial arts also. So when you go into martial arts, you need to grapple and you need to strike. So that's gonna build up the physical, part. those two, those first two things are gonna build up uh, the physical part of you. Well, the first one, lifting weights is gonna build up your physicality. And then from there, mm, you know, the martial arts, the grappling and the striking is gonna build up your confidence in terms of using your body, okay? And then the whole yoga meditation thing, well, that's going to help you master your, your mind and your emotions, you know, and also your body at the same time, in a sense. So I hope that makes sense. Those three things are definitely, in my opinion, um, the fastest and the easiest way to build yourself up. And if I had to build somebody up, that's what I would put them through. And it wouldn't be long before um, their confidence level would go up, right? Confidence and clarity. And they would just become a different person. And then from there, you can um, you know, go about your life and you know, be the best version of yourself, so to speak. So I hope that made sense. Guys, if, uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. And uh, that's it for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's going to bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.